A and P up here. Welcome to Freedom Watch Afghanistan. I'm Sergeant Gene Taylor. The aircraft carrier USS Abraham Lincoln has moved out of the Persian Gulf and into the Gulf of Oman. According to the Associated Press, this move shortens the time and distance it takes strike aircraft to support combat in Afghanistan. Commanders in Afghanistan have long asked for more air support, but Iraq has always been seen as the priority. Now U.S. defense leadership is able to focus more air capabilities towards Afghanistan. The Navy routinely moves ships in and out of the Persian Gulf. The departure of the USS Abraham Lincoln still leaves several ships as a show of force to Iran and in support of regional allies. Well, if you've been deployed recently, then you've seen the up-armored Humvee, and maybe even you've seen the new mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicle, or MRAP. Army Staff Sergeant Bill Valentine shows us what may be the next vehicle to hit the Army's inventory, the LSORV. Off-road vehicle designers from Strats Incorporated are working with Command Joint Task Force Kurhi soldiers in Afghanistan to evaluate a new military vehicle. The Enhanced Logistics Support Off-Road Vehicle, or LSORV, gives soldiers the ability to medevac and resupply troops in remote areas. Uh, it gives them the opportunity to uh, get to the top of ridge lines, uh, to go down through wadis, uh, to avoid the roads, uh, uh, and do an unanticipated approach. Modified Humvee engine powers the LSORV, enabling it to reach speeds in excess of 90 miles per hour. It has a 90 degree approach angle and can traverse slopes in excess of 80 degrees without rollover. The LSORV's interior provides soldiers with adequate space for personnel, gear, and room to support a medevac. The Army Rapid Equipping Force depends on soldier feedback to evaluate new equipment. All real soldiers are the ones that's going to use them the most. It's it just seems practical that they put actual soldiers in the vehicle to see what they're comfortable with, see what changes they could possibly be made. Uh, they really like the vehicles, and uh, they're giving us some really good feedback as, some of the, uh, as far as some of the other things they would like to see on the vehicle. These LSORVs are a blast to drive. It's uh, not like any other military vehicle I've ever driven. It goes wherever you want it to go, you point it, and it pretty much go. There are only four LSORV vehicles in existence today. But depending on the training and evaluations here, the LSORV may be coming to a combat theater near you. Reporting from Bob Salerno, Afghanistan, I'm Army Sergeant Bill Valentine. Now here's a look at your photos from the field. On this village medical outreach, a soldier with Combined Joint Task Force 101 deworms a goat while a young Afghan child receives a medical checkup from a Navy doctor. This local doctor checks a village resident as a part of the VMO in the Nilai village of the Kohi Sophie district. Being away from home, working long hours, or facing new situations, any one of these things can raise your stress level. Airman First Class Keith Grody says that one way many deployed troops are dealing with their stress is by playing volleyball. Troops from all over Bagram came out to the JLC volleyball tournament to have a good time and take their mind off their deployment. I think it builds morale a lot. It takes your mind off of where you're at and what you're doing every day. And so for the couple of hours a day you can come down here and play volleyball or horseshoes or whatever else, baseball, whatever, and you just you're not thinking about you know, you're away from your family and stuff like that. For most, being a good volleyball player wasn't as important as enjoying themselves and bonding with their fellow service members. It's good to get out and uh, do morale type activities within the unit. Um, a lot of times because of the schedules that, uh, that we work under, it's hard to have everyone come together to, at a given time and, and uh, just come out and just do something fun and enjoyable for everyone. And not everyone's, you know, great at the game, but uh, you get to laugh at each other and it kind of brings everyone on the same level, which is, which is good. U.S. and coalition forces played in the tournament Though the Polish team walked away tourney champs, everyone walked away a winner. Airman First Class Keith Grody, Bagram Airfield, Afghanistan. That's it for this edition. You can watch our program anytime by going online. Just log on to defenselink.mil slash AFN dash Afghanistan. From all of us stationed out here at Bagram Airfield, I'm Sergeant Gene Taylor. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.